What's going on guys? It's your boy Dom Kemp and we are back with another podcast. This one though is an interesting one as well guys. So back to back podcast on this Saturday night, this great Saturday night where I'm going to be uploading twice, possibly every weekend. That is my goal to have every weekend. But let's jump into it. We're going to be talking about the awards and accolades but but first and foremost, Tom Brady becomes the oldest player in NFL history to win the most valuable player award. Tom Brady wins third NFL MVP, and Rams' Todd Gurley finished second. So Todd Gurley, the running back from the Rams, finishes in second behind Brady. He should have won it, in my opinion, but oh well. Uh, Moving on. (laughs) Forget that Tom Brady shattered NFL records as a 40-year-old quarterback in the 2017 season, playing some of his best football in his 18-year career. Brady didn't just dominate the 40-year-old bracket. His ex- <laughs> the 40-year-old age bracket, his excellence extended across the entire NFL, and on Saturday night, he became the oldest player to win the NFL's Most Valuable Player Award. Brady earned 40 votes in balloting by a nationwide media panel, easily winning over Los Angeles Rams running back Todd Gurley, 8, and Philadelphia Eagles quarterback Carson Wentz, 2 votes. And I quote, there's no quarterback I'd rather have on my team than Tom Brady, Pat's coach Bill Belichick said leading up to Sunday Super Bowl 52 showdown against the Eagles. I'm glad I have him. Well, Bill, I'll say this. Just going to say this. You could have had any quarterback and you still would have made them great. Bill Belichick is the greatest head coach of all time. Just saying. Okay, Brady, who also had... Brady, who also was league MVP in 2007 and 2010, will try to win his sixth Super Bowl title Sunday. The last NFL MVP to win the Super Bowl was Kurt Warner in the 1999 season. Patriots wide receiver Julian Edelman accepted the MVP on Brady's behalf at the NFL Honors Award Ceremony in Minneapolis. Thanks, thanks. Wait up. And I literally just found out I was doing this like 20 minutes ago, so I've got to read the text, Edelman said. And I quote, no, but I'm joking. But serious, Tom said he wanted to say he's very honored and humbled that he gets this award for MVP. Also, he wanted to thank his teammates, his friends, his family, and the Patriots and organization for going out and doing what they do. Uh, By the way, guys, since 1999, every quarterback has lost the Super Bowl if they have won the, with the exception of Kurt Warner, if they have won the Most Valuable Player Award. Let's go down the list, shall we? Matt Ryan, 2016, lost. 2015, Cam Newton, lost. 2013, Peyton Manning, lost. 2009, Peyton Manning, lost. 2007, Tom Brady, lost. 2005, Sean Alexander, lost. 2002, Rich Gannon, lost. 2001, Kurt Warner, lost. But in 1999, he didn't end up winning the Super Bowl. The only player to win the Super Bowl at the quarterback position in the past uh, 19 years, 18 years. Man, a pretty long time. Pretty long time. Voted first team all pro for the 2017 regular season. Brady was 385 of 581 for a league high 4,577 passing yards with 32 touchdowns and 8 interceptions. While leading the Patriots to a 13-3 record. In addition to be, being the oldest to win NFL MVP, Brady is the oldest quarterback to start in the Super Bowl and the, and the oldest to lead the NFL in passing yards, Fran Tarkenton, with 3,468 yards in 1978 at age 38, with Minnesota previously held the uh, distinction. Brady's historic season at 40 has been a topic that has followed him all season while he was embraced by highlighting his commitment to his craft and producing the, the documentary Tom vs. Time with the four... No, with the first four installments released in a week leading up to Super Bowl 52. And I quote, I learned that I need to invest in my body and invest in things that are going to make me feel good or else I would have stopped playing 10 years ago, he said. I don't think there is any way you can continue to play if your body can't do it. Brady joined 12 other quarterbacks since the 1970 merger to start an NFL game past age 40. The oldest player to attempt a pass in a game was George Blanda at age 48 as a member of the Oakland Raiders in the final game of his career on December 21, 1975. Brady also became the fourth Patriots player to play at 40, joining quarterbacks Doug Flutie, 43 in 2005, and Vinny Testaverde. 43 in 2006, and linebacker Junior Seau, 40 in 2009. 
As for why he can continue to play, he said in the days leading up to the Super Bowl 52, and I quote, I just think I love the game. It's easy to do this when you love it. I think the point is if you find something you love to do, it never feels like work. I found football and I found it at a young age and I just loved it. It's hard to explain. I just love the preparation. I love the offseason. I love the film work. I think a big part of it because my body feels good and I've worked hard at that. I think for a lot of older players, their body doesn't respond and football is no fun when you are hurting. On Sunday, at 40 years and 185 days, Brady will become the oldest non-kicker to play in the Super Bowl. Okay, my opinion on this, guys, is fantastic. I'm happy for Brady. He's 40 years old and he's playing like he's 23 or 24. But, guys, I'm going to say this. Tomorrow, if you haven't seen... Or heard my prediction video on my channel. I did end up putting a prediction of the Super Bowl. And I believe the Patriots are going to win. But I also said that I'm rooting for the Eagles. Due to the fact that they haven't won a Super Bowl. So I'm like okay. Yes. That is who I want to win. But I will not be shocked if the Patriots win. That was my prediction. So guys I thank you for listening to this podcast. If you guys have any opinion or comment of course, in a constructive comment, of course, not slandering anybody or talking trash, please, guys, that is not my comment section. Those of, those of you who do that, I will not read your comment, and I will dispose of it quickly. But other than that, I thank you for listening to this podcast. Please like and subscribe for more NFL news-worthy stuff, because I am definitely coming at you guys quickly. And at the start of next season, which is going to start in March, that's when the off-season talks and, and then all the free agents start to come out of the hives and stuff like that. So I thank you for listening to this podcast. It's a shorter podcast, but guys, it's definitely an informational one. Those of you who did not know that Brady did win the uh, Most Valuable Player Award at the age of 40 have to give him credit. He's playing lights out, but I have a feeling that the Eagles defense is going to take control. That is it. Thank you for listening to the podcast. Enjoy the Super Bowl tomorrow, guys. I will have that Super Bowl in aftermath uh, to talk about with you guys as well. So thank you so much for listening, and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out, guys. Have a good one.